Today, we're going to be talking about dealing with temptation. So first off, it's not a sin to be tempted. We read in Luke chapter 4 where Jesus was tempted, but yet he sinned not. Now notice what Satan did. He came to Jesus at his weakest point. You see, Jesus had been fasting for 40 days, and he was hungry. So Satan comes to him knowing this, and he says this, And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made to bread. Satan saw this real need in Jesus' life, and he tempted him to fill that need in a wrong way. You see, he questioned God's willingness to provide for him. But Jesus wasn't fooled. He quoted scripture and he said this, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. I know when I'm tempted with wrong thoughts, I think to myself, man, I gotta quit thinking about this. But that's not what Jesus did. He replaced Satan's lie with God's truth. This happened two more times where Satan tempted Jesus. And each time, Jesus quoted scripture to him. After this, Satan departed from him. That's right. That's right. You know, in the simplest way to explain this, I guess, would be simple terms that we think day in and day out. Um, Probably a good many of y'all have heard of the UFC, the uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship. And if you haven't, well, what it is, is it's uh, mixed martial arts. And this reminds me of an actual MMA fight where let's say one guy is real good with his hands, so he wants to stand and throw punches. And let's just say the other guy is more of a ground guy He's maybe a wrestler or a jiu-jitsu guy, and he wants to bring the fight to the ground. So what they're trying to do is each guy is trying to expose the weakness of the other guy, which is just good strategy. That's right. Well, the devil has good strategy too. Hmm. He wants to take advantage of our weaknesses. Believe that. You see, even though we all hate to admit it, we all have weaknesses, all of us. Yeah. But the thing about it is we have to recognize our weakness. We have to pray and ask God to help us with whatever weaknesses we're dealing with. And then we have to work on them. We have to uh, work on them ourselves. We can't just ask God to help us and we don't do anything on our own. We have to help ourselves. Bottom line, we gotta beware that Satan wants to tempt us and he will expose our weaknesses in doing so. So we got to stand guard. Well said, well said. You know, the Bible says Satan is going to and fro on the face of the earth like a lion trying to devour whoever he can. So we got to be aware of our weaknesses and where we're vulnerable because you better believe Satan is aware and that's where he's going to attack. Exactly. That's right. Well said. All right, y'all. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So first off, we want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Second, every one of us have a lot to be thankful for. Every single one of us. Take a little time. Take a minute. Thank the Lord for all he's done for you in your life and all he's doing. It's all about him and giving him thanks and and giving him the glory. Amen. And this is truth. And we'll see you on the next video.